brother, you know, you know I got to tell at least one story on every, every podcast. We got to tell at least one story. Okay. I can't remember what year it is, but we're in Knoxville, Tennessee. We just finished wrestling. Knoxville, Tennessee being a college town. That is where Tennessee University is, I think. Is that what Tennessee University is? Yeah, I think it is. Knoxville. Yeah, I think not. Yeah. yeah, tennis. Yeah. So anyway, Knoxville. College Town. I think so. We're staying at the Holiday Inn. We just got through wrestling. It's me, Haku, Nasty Boys, uh, cup one one other guy, myself. I can't remember the whole gang of us. So we waiting in the lobby. We're gonna go hit some of the college clubs, you know, little bars and stuff like that. Because where our hotel is, they're in walking distance. Okay, you would have loved this man if you had been there because I know you're down with all the college bars, the drunk that you are, you know. So well, we would have, you know, if they your, have, if they have your, ab- liquid, your liquid courage would yeah, have been. If they have some right apple there. juice, on top. yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, you would have loved it, and I would have loved to see you there. And you're drunk and shit, and somebody drug your ass outside and threw you out the bar. We, That's what I would have loved listen, to see. The bars would have closed, and you and I would have went to a black strip club, the nearest black strip <laughs> club in Knoxville. Yeah, in Atlanta, probably 200 <laughs> miles away. You know what I'm <laughs> so. So anyway, I, I come down. The guys are already down there, some of the guys. Might have been the barbarian with us also. Uh, the guys come. I come down the stairs, and there's a guy working behind the bar, okay? I don't think I've ever told this story before. There's a guy working behind the bar, the bartender, you know? And the nasty boys, I'm now, I remember my, now I was going, hey, Stevie, do you know this guy? You know this fucking guy? And I'm looking at the guy, and I'm like, what do I know this fucking guy from? I knew his face. He's a piece of shit. <laughs> it's knobs. <laughs> you know, this fucking piece of shit here. You know? And I'm like, yeah, you know, he, he fucking told on the guy. And I'm like, what are they talking about? He told on the guy in the movie. What movie? They were talking about a movie. Uh, you know the movie when they told... He, this is Knobs and Zags. You know the movie when he talked, when he, when he pipped on the Jewish guy, you know? But then I looked at the kid again. Guess who it was? Matt Damon. No shit. Matt Damon. Matt Damon was yes. the bartender? Yes. He's there. You know how they met that act, so he's yeah. being a bartender for real. I don't know if what he was getting ready to play. I don't know. Right. You know, this is before he had went through the roof. Right, right. So he had did a movie called School Ties. About a private high school, mm-hmm. and uh, Brandon Frazier was a Jewish kid that they recruited to play quarterback mm-hmm. because they wanted to beat this other private school, rich kids. Yeah. And uh, Brandon Frazier was Jewish, and all the guys told him, "Don't tell the other guys that you're Jewish." Yeah. And Matt Damon found out he was Jewish because his girlfriend liked Brandon Frazier, so he told all the other guys on the football team he's Jewish. So he started getting the business. Yeah. You know, it's only a movie. But Sacks and Knobs and all that, they taking it for real. You know what I'm saying? Because I looked at him and I go, wait a minute. Just the f-. I said, you the fucking guy that told it on the fucking, told it about the Jewish guy. And he go, yeah. He's like, yeah, man, it's just a movie, though. You know, blah, blah, blah. We marking out. You know, I'm like, oh, they, they not. Sacks is like, this son of a bitch. And he hits him in the fucking chest. Bam. I mean, dog, he hits him like Larry Holmes. And the kid fucking buckles over, you know. And I'm, we're laughing our ass off, you know. And the kid is like, oh, man, come on, man, come on. Oh, you fucking asshole, you fucking pimped on the kid, you know, blah, blah, blah. Get your ass in the back. Get back behind the bar and shit, Brian you know? Nobbs decked Matt Damon. Yeah, did Sacks hit him too, <laughs> bam. You know what I'm saying? The nasty boys now, attacked me, Matt Damon. Me, Haku, and Barbara, we are fucking dying laughing. We're dying, you know what I'm saying? Because we, we think it's so funny. This is what we do to Marks anyway. But this guy, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we did, he had only been in one movie, so he wasn't a big star yet. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So the only thing we thought was, he, this punk will never make it. You know what I'm saying? You'll never make it, you know? Yeah. So anyway, we're talking and shit. So we wait, we wait for somebody else, and they're over there talking. So me and Matt Damon, we start talking. This is a true story. We start talking. We start talking about acting. You know how inquisitive I am. We start talking about acting. I was like, he was like, well, who do you think is the best actor in Hollywood? I said, I know what you're going to say. Who am I going to say? I said, you're going to say Morgan Freeman because all white people think Morgan Freeman is the best actor in Hollywood. Well, he is, man. I said, Marvin, I said, he's nothing. He's like, well, who do you think the best? I said, Wesley Snipes. 
<laughs> That's why I say I think Wesley Knight would play me, even though he's only five foot seven, you know, whatever. And he was like, oh, man, Wesley's good with his karate and all that stuff, but he's no Morgan Freeman. This is a conversation me and Matt Damon is having. This is, uh, this is no joke. This is a true story. So here come the National Ball. Well, the final last person we was waiting for comes down the stairs, and we're ready to go. And they were like, where the fuck you going? <laughs> he was like, uh, hey, man, can I, can, I, can I go hang out with you guys? I was no, fuck no. Then, you know, that's the National Ball. Fuck, get your fucking ass back behind him. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You know, God. and I'm like, okay, the nasty boys, they getting kind of lit now. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, so I told the guys, I said, look, brother, don't, don't, you know, if it was left up to me, you could go, man. But these guys, man, you know, hey, that's how they are. If I was you, I wouldn't want to go, man. So just, just chill out, man. He was like, oh, okay, man, this. But we left and went down to the bar and said, I've never thought about it again. Next thing you know, this guy's one of the biggest stars in Hollywood. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and I've seen the nasty boys cave his chest in <laughs> several times. So, actually, I told my daughter, who was a theater arts major. You know, she'd been acting since she was a little kid. Right. So, I finally told my daughter this story a few years ago. This is no lie. I told her this story. And after I told her the whole story, she looks at me and she just shakes her head. And I'm like, it happened. I'm sorry. I'm just telling you a story. Because we're big. We, I used to take my daughter to see those Bourne movies. Right. You know, those first three. Mm-hmm. We would always go see them when she was little. And, uh... She was like, thanks, Dad. All you had to do was just stay in touch with the guy. You know, and tr- you know, treat, him, treat him like a human being. And who knows, the day you could have called him up, and maybe he could have helped me out. But no, you're going to beat him up. And I'm like, I didn't beat him up. The, the nasty, nasty boy beat, beat him up. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a true, another Stevie Ray story. And this actually happened. No lie. Matt Damon, one of the biggest stars in Hollywood, I saw the Nasty Boys almost cave his chest in one night in Knoxville, Tennessee. Man, True story. I can't think of a better way to end tonight's show than with Matt Damon getting his ass kicked by the fucking Nasty Boys. It happened, bro. That is awesome. It happened, man. But hey, <laughs> another, another, another story by Stevie Ray, like Matt just said. Hey, what else? What else can we do? I only tell the stories that's in my head. And for all you saps out there that want to chime in and say, he's lying. Matt and other people have told me to be nicer on the show, and I'm going to, uh, I'm going to do that. But, hey, we appreciate everybody watching the show, giving us all the comments. They call me Stevie Ray. But my man, Matt Potowski, we are out.